If you just read the title and clicked on the video, you are probably thinking, rents in Germany are getting cheaper, what the f*** is this guy smoking? But it's true, rents in Germany did in fact get cheaper over the last plus 10 years. Now you have two options, you can either click off the video now, go full TikTok mode and call me a liar because you're not willing to listen to statistics and data, or you devote a couple of minutes of your time to learn something new. In this episode of the German Real Dot Estate blog, I realized that rents here in Germany are getting more and more expensive on a nominal value. Trust me on that one, I live and rent in Munich myself. We have demonstrations like this. Berlin has demonstrations like this. Frankfurt, Leipzig, many different A and B locations in Germany have demonstrations like this. So I'm not standing here and pretending that Germany is the rent Eldorado. And here's proof that rents in Germany are getting more expensive on a nominal value. The index of rents in Germany rose by 8.4% from 2015 to 2022. The latest data we have from the German statistical office. So a little over 1% year over year. If you listen to what I said earlier very closely, which is always recommended of course, you heard me say nominal value. And that's what we are seeing here in this statistic. The year 2015 is the basis with 100 and from then on we go up or down in nominal value. But it goes much deeper than this. You cannot just look at this chart and then go to the next hashtag Mietenwahnsinn demonstration. Then you are demonstrating under wrong assumptions. Let's make an example to clarify. Let's say you are investing your money with a 4% annual rate of return. Nominal rate of return. When you make 4%, Germany charges roughly 25% capital gains tax, so you are left with a 3% net return from your 4% gross return. But it's still nominal. In order to get your real rate of return, we need to put your nominal rate of return into perspective. Because similar to rents in Germany, your nominal rate of return is not some isolated thing in the corner of the universe. It needs to be put into perspective. And for investing, it's very easy to do because we put your rate of return into perspective with what? The inflation rate. And why is that? Because inflation makes everything more expensive. Meaning you can afford less and less with the same amount of money over time. So if the inflation rate is also 4% per year, you are not getting any richer with your 4% nominal rate of return. You are not at zero either, you are actually getting poorer. You make 4% nominally, you pay 25% capital gains tax, which is 1%, and inflation eats another 4% from your 3% net return. You might think you're getting richer because the numbers in your account grow, but on a realistic basis, you're not. And that is why most of our real estate securities offer 8% fixed interest rate, 10% or sometimes even up to 12% fixed interest rate. So you are getting a real rate of return when investing in real estate. Check out the link to our German real dot estate marketplace in the description. And for rents in Germany, we can use the same example, we just use a different variable to compare. Because the inflation rate doesn't make much sense if we want to know if rents are getting cheaper or more expensive, does it? I mean, if you look at this from a strictly literal point of view, the words cheaper and expensive give it away already. Cheaper or more expensive in relation to what? Some use gross salaries, which I feel is going in the right direction, but gross salaries don't mean much, right? Look at your payslip. Gross salary is not the money you have in your pocket. If we really want to put rents in Germany into perspective, we need the disposable household income to make sure we are comparing apples with apples. This chart shows the total living costs, not just rent, it includes water, electricity, interest rate for homeowners and much more, in relation to the disposable household income. We come to different household types later on to get a more detailed picture, so you can put your personal living situation in relation as well, but let's start strategically at the top from now. The blue light bars show all households in Germany and the percentage of disposable income people have to spend on living costs, which goes down almost every single year. Remember this chart from the beginning, which tells a completely different story. Now you know that rents in Germany are getting more expensive nominally, but more affordable on a realistic perspective. Why? Most likely because salaries are rising faster than rents. Maybe not if you have an average salary and live in the middle of Munich or middle of Berlin, but for Germany, 
overall. The light blue bars show all households in Germany and the dark blue bars show households at the risk of poverty. What does that mean? It's a standardized EU definition for households with less than 60% of the median household net income. For singles, the median household net income in Germany is 1,800 euros a month, as seen in this chart, and for couples it's 2,430 euros a month, as seen in this chart. So the households in risk of poverty that have only 60% of that, according to the EU definition, would be 1,080 euros a month for singles and 1,458 euros net per month for couples. These households spent over 50% on living in the past and now they're down to 43%. Still very, very high if you ask me, but a step in the right direction. No matter if you are looking at all households or households at the risk of poverty. And if you look at the types of households more detailed, you can see that rents in Germany get more affordable for singles, single parents, couples without kids and for couples with two kids. Don't ask me why Statista didn't include couples with one kid, but my guess is it's the same for them as well. So no matter what type of household you're looking at, rents did get cheaper. Couples without kids pay 20% of their disposable household income on living. That's really low if you ask me. The average couples without kids. If you live in the middle of Berlin or Munich, your percentage is probably higher. Even when looking at the different household types at the risk of poverty, living costs are going down for them as well. 40% or 50% for living is still pretty high. Too high if you ask me. But a lot better than 60% we had in 2008. Because the less you spend on living, the more you can invest. In our real estate securities for example, that will generate even more money for you in the future. because. Cheaper rents, we established it in this video together, mean what? Rising real estate prices. So why don't you try it out for yourself? Link to our German real estate marketplace is in the description.